Oh, wait. <laughs> Hi, I'm Herbie J. Pilato, and today I'm going to be talking about, you guessed it, Dark Shadows. Here's like one of the original um, LPs of the music from the show. There's Jonathan Fritt, of course, who played Barnabas, and um, David Selby, who played Quentin. That's a little too shiny. Two of the uh, most popular actors, characters on the show. David played Quentin again. Um, Jonathan played Barnabas Collins, the vampire. Quentin was ghost, zombie, werewolf. I mean, the whole shebang. Um, so, I mean, it's just a phenomenon. Here it is, what, over 50 years later, the, the show uh, debuted in, in 1966. And on ABC, daytime drama, it started out kind of like just gothic only. And then it'd be, you know, Jonathan was introduced. The ratings were faltering. And then Jonathan Frid was introduced as his vampire. And it was like, what? So the kids, like myself at the time, a lot of um, college kids, I was six or seven when the show first debuted. We just uh, loved it. Okay, why? Why did we love it? And by the way, it is out on DVD in this coffin. <laughs> it's just amazing. They did such a beautiful job with it. So I encourage you all to get this coffin. It's on Amazon.com. It's, it's filled with DVDs. It's not just a coffin. The entire series. Um, so, yeah, it. Uh, I was, what, six, seven years old. I remember I was at a friend of my sister's on Brown Street in Rochester, New York. We all attended St. Peter's and Paul. And my sister and her friend used to watch it. And I remember the first scene that I recall was Angelique in the 1795 timeline. And she was like, had this smoky thing coming out of, you know, one of her spells, you know, the smoky you know, cup in the woods with Ben. Angelique played by the, the fantastic Lara Parker and Ben Stokes played by Thayer David. Um, and she was be spelling him she's a witch be spelling him to do something or whatever so that's my first memory of it and <clears throat> over time i've watched uh, several episodes of the show <laughs> so i've watched the show several times over the years and of course i was so honored when david selby Catherine lee scott who played josette collins i mean maggie evans and Maggie Collins and, and, and several different characters um, did my show, then again with Herbie J. Pilato, which is on Amazon Prime and Shout Factory TV the first season. So that was kind of a magical time, but we'll, we'll get to that. Let's, let's just talk about what is it about this show? Well, Jonathan Fred, the core appeal was he was a reluctant vampire. We've heard this before. I don't know how many different people have said this over the years. Um, and he didn't really want to be a vampire. I mean, you know, who kind of really does? <laughs> and he fought it. And, you know, he was in, he had this fling with Angelique and she, he broke it off, fell in love with Josette in the 1795 timeline and, and Angelique puts this spell on him a vampire guy. revenge in revenge so it was just a, a dynamite series and everyone was like oh it's so campy it's no it's not campy they played it straight oh now everybody's forgetting the lines the you know the the scenery dropped and you know and all kinds of crazy look at the reason why we all you know people have said that it people forget their lines in the show is because the show has been in reruns and it's on DVD. Every soap opera of the day before, you know, the sophisticating, sophistication of taping the way they do it today, every soap opera, people forgot their lines. Okay. 
every lots of of set pieces fell during uh, the recording because they would record them as live. Um, and, and Dark Shadows is picked on for the only ones who forget or their lines, and and that's only because we're still watching it. We're not watching Secret Storm. I'm no, no offense to Secret Storm people, but I don't see any DVDs for Secret Storm, and if there are, forgive me. Okay. Um. So it's just a great show for everybody. And these people loved each other. They had this affection for each other. The vampire, the witch, the zombie, the ghost, um, Willie, the great Willie played by, um, um, oh geez, uh, John Carlin, you know, fantastic. He was like the hunchback uh, slave character uh, to Barnabas. Uh, throughout various timelines, really. So Quentin came along as a ghost when they came back from the 1795 timeline. Quentin came along as a ghost in the present, which was then 1968. And then we flashed back to eight to his time in 1897. And that's when, I mean, I think the show had the longest storyline uh, in 1897, people just loved it. You had David Selby as Quentin, uh, alive now, not as a ghost. And Barnabas went back in time to 1897. So he started out, he was really originally in 1795. And then in 1968, um, Willie found him. And then they flashed back to 1795. Then it came back to 1968, 67, whatever it was. And then they went into 1795 for the Quentin storyline. Just fantastic. Um, so the characters, the writing was supreme. The characters really cared for one another. You saw it. And they played it straight. You know, it was real in that world. And it's one of the reasons why any creative product, project, TV show, movie, stage play, anything that works works within that world. Bewitched, you might know I'm the author of um, a couple of Bewitched books and I did biographies on Elizabeth Montgomery. Well, whatever um, happened in the Bewitched world, Samantha can only put a spell on a, a particular person. And if she only put that spell on, then only she could take it off. Uh, Ag Agnes Mortis and Dora couldn't take it off. Same thing in Dark Shadows. Whatever happened in that world made sense. Logic within the illogic, you know? So we believed it. We trusted it. Now, later on, you know, I'm not too crazy about the Leviathan storyline. I'm like, what? what? What is this? Those, you know, apparently some kind of, I don't know, people outside of Collinwood came into, um, invaded and essentially body snatched the Collins family and turned them into, you know, their slaves. But what made Dark Shadows work the best is when it really just had to do with the family, in my opinion. Now, I, I, I love all the actors who came along with the Leviathan storyline. It was fantastic, but I don't think it worked, in my opinion. Parallel time later, that was a little dicey too, but I liked it a lot better. Um, it started getting back to um, what the show was really about, the characters caring. Um, and after after a little bit, it was more believable that Barnabas could walk through this doorway in the East Wing into a parallel time where he meets the Collins family in that same time, but living different lives. Star Trek did that, you know, a lot of science fiction has fantasy shows have addressed that. So just amazing, amazing series. And um, they did, they rebooted it in 1990, uh, 1991 for NBC, which I thought was a fantastic reboot. The 2012 movie with Johnny Depp, uh-uh. Dark Shadows didn't do it for me that day when I saw that movie. It was beautiful. The first 10 minutes, it was, oh, they're going to play it straight. And what did they do? 
They made a joke of it. Sorry, I have an issue with that. Um, so if you enjoyed my little discussion of Dark Shadows, please like the um, the, the video where it's at the bottom and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. That helps me and helps keeping these videos going. I'm going to be talking about all kinds of classic TV shows as well as some health and fitness, which I kind of do on the side. So, um, oh, here's the, here's the album again. If you haven't seen it floating around the beginning, The Coffin. And I profile Jonathan, Frid, and David Selby in my Dashing, Daring, and Debonair book male icons of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. So if you're interested in that, you could either go to amazon.com, barnesandnoble.com, or order that book or any of my books on Bewitched, Kung Fu, Bionics, um, directly from me, hjpilato at yahoo.com or herbiejpilato.com. Thanks so much for, for watching and listening, and I will see you again soon. Peace.